Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another amazing video for you guys So like I said yesterday, I gave you guys my word and I said I will try my hardest today to get a rank 35 Sandy and I did not waste any time on that nor did I lie to you guys. Um, I didn't even wait till today actually um, I was pretty close last night. I got a little bit busy towards the end of the night But I decided you know what there is no way I am going to sleep before I get this rank 35 Sandy so I was up only until 2.30 a.m. It actually wasn't that bad. I thought I'd be up all night. But it was only till 2.30. We ended up getting a rank 35 before anyone else even hit 10 or 1,075 trophies. So we dominated the Sandy leaderboards today. Let me show you guys what the leaderboards look like now. A lot of you guys asked about my local. I just switched local. I do it like almost every day when I stream. I just open stream. Let my stream chat pick a new local. They chose Kenya. Um, today or not today yesterday so when I stream again today they'll just give me a new location we always change it up you guys can see um, we're almost a hundred trophies over Yamada Yamada is currently the number one player in the world on the leaderboards Yamada and Twisty are killing it huge shout out to them as always two amazing players one from Europe one from Asia um, just absolutely unreal huge shout out to them but we're gonna be showing you guys some replays of getting Sandy to rank 35 under 24 hours of its initial release so let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the games. We're going to show you guys six games. Now let me tell you, um, this took a while. Each matchmaking was at least 10 minutes long. Um, it usually capped at around 10 minutes and stopped after that. Once you get this high, you kind of face like broken team comps, uh, which is actually way harder than just facing regular teams because regular teams are a ton, just just much much easier to go up against so you guys can see we took out the primo straight away along with ash and at this point we're kind of just dominating the mid um the entire time we pushed with ash some of it well not the entire time my apologies basically just all of it over 1000 we played with his 8-bit for the entirety of the time and it went really really well with my sandy with the mix of this like sandstorm type of thing and then the and then um sorry ash's turret it was just such a strong combination of invisibility, such high with high DPS. And just it was an amazing mix. It was really good. We were also playing with Tan. Um, he was on Tara. He did fairly well himself. Uh, we're just gonna get this down again. What I spoke about last video. It's all about the area denial. So you guys really have to like just get your area denial down. Make sure nobody can go near you. Um, anyone in this area just immediately is gonna get hit. I'm just gonna throw it down again so they can't regen while walking all the way down towards Ash. Ash is going to put that damage like buff in there. I mean, there's just no way that they're even coming close to us. We won't allow it. They're just going to go down, and that is the first game. So I don't know exactly how many cups we have here. Let's go into the... Uh, let's check what it's at. So this brought us to one th yes, 1,233 trophies. It was pretty OP. You guys can see these guys are actually fairly high in, in cups. Usually the broken comps are truly the hardest ones for teams to go against. Because if, if I get laned against a decent player, I mean, we're going to play the same style. But I, I'm probably the better brawler and the better player. So odds are they won't be able to beat me. As for this, sometimes it's really unpredictable. Primo can just walk right into your face and kill you. And you guys are going to see that a bit. So we're going to hop into the next game. Let's show you guys what happened. Let's hop into it. So this is a little bit down, so we weren't at 1,233 yet for this game, but this is one of the more competitive ones. We actually insta-queued here, which made me so happy, since it was just generally really good players. Um, these guys have gone to lands before, they're professional Brawl Stars players, they're really good. So although we got fast matchmaking, we still have to win this game. So I'm leaning against the shield BB right now, which you guys know I've been saying for the longest time, and now it's just 100%. This is the better star power on BB. Make sure you're using the shield, please. We're going to throw this down so that he can't regen. We're going to try and sneak on the mid. Tan is going to go down over there. We tried to sneak on the mid, but we're not able to do so. It was only three shot for us, so we were really looking to get the kill. You guys can see their BBs uh, just basically trying to heal, but we have this 8-bit this, uh, super right on us, so I mean... We're doing a fairly good job at keeping our lane down. Um, the BB hasn't really gotten near us, and when it has, we used the Standstorm and got it away. Tan is getting really close to that gene, but he's going to go down for the second time of the game. Um, their BB's trying to push up. He won't be able to do so. I throw my shield down, or not my shield, sorry, my Sandstorm, and he's going to go down. Again, I try and go close to their gene, but he's just not going to let me. The gene is going to use his pull, which is actually really good for us, since we can now be a little bit more aggressive, since he doesn't have pull, especially Ash. So again, we're just going to go up, try and get our super. Ash is doing a really good job on the 8-bit. He gets his super right back. Obviously not good. Myself and Ash are going to go over here and just pinch this guy. He's going to put this down. 
and they're gonna switch lanes since the shield BB wasn't able to really do anything against us so they put the uh, the spike on us Alex wastes his super which is really really good for us obviously we're just gonna pick up a gem and come back uh, Tan is going to hit his pull we're gonna be able to pick up that kill over there Tan is going to go down but we're going to be able to get that storm right in the middle of the map, not let them regen whatsoever. Although we have gems, we're not just going to run back because then we're going to let them regen and let them get close to us. Mystery Alex is losing health the entirety of the time. He's one shot over there. He's going to go down to my sandstorm. Ash is going to get the kill and that is going to give us the win. So it was definitely one of our tougher games. We're going to show you guys one more that was a little bit tough, kind of the same type of thing where we got insta queued. One of the two times that we got insta queued, and when I mean insta queued, I mean faster than two minutes, which is still brutal matchmaking, um, above 1200. So let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go, back in it. This is the second insta queue. I'm super pumped at this time. And we're facing the exact same comp. Um, they were probably facing each other on ladder and liked each other's comps. So, like, okay, we're just going to see who can outskill who. Um, this BB isn't using shield though, it's using speed, which obviously. Um, I do not suggest. So we're on lane with a spike. We don't lane very well against a spike. If we get close enough, we could three shot it. But if a spike has very high IQ, it's going to be tough to get that close. We're able to get the three shot on the gene over there, as well as get close enough to the spike to be able to take that down. So we're doing pretty well, although the left side isn't doing the best right now. The gene knew where we are, so we had to sneak away up that side over there. We're moving left towards that gene. The gene's going to try and find us. We're going to do a little bit of a juke, but we're going to go right here and be able to get the kill. We are going to go down though, unfortunately. The BB is still behind us, which is really, really scary. You obviously don't want a BB behind you. They could bat you right into the middle of the map, which is exactly what happened here. Ash is going to go down. We're going to pick up the gems and be very careful about how we do it. We do have the power, the damage boost, and the sandstorm, so we're chilling over here. We're able to three-shot the spike and then move back into our lane and be careful with it, which is exactly what you wanted to do. I played it basically perfectly over there. Again, there is still something behind us. And that's obviously not good. So at this point, myself and Ash just go right beside her. We're able to get the kill. Ash gets super, super low though. You're gonna make use of the sandstorm and move up the map. Get these two gems and now just run back. So currently we have 10. All we have to do is stay alive over here. We're just chilling. Again, not running all the way back because we wanna be able to get the kill. Tan is going for the gene because the gene has that game changing ability. He's gonna be able to get the kill. Um, we're doing a pretty good job at lasering these guys. Ash is gonna throw his turret down. I'm gonna go down. But at the end of the day, that's fine. We're just going to pick these back up. Myself and Tan are going to go aggro, not let them regen. And that's basically what's going to happen for the rest of the game. So again, really good play over here. Uh, Tan's going to get that pull. We're going to be able to get that kill. The spike isn't going to be able to do anything. Going to walk up, but no chance for him to get the kill. And that is going to end another really competitive game. So those are two pretty close games that we had against two fairly good opponents. Both of them had a player above 1,000 trophies. So it was definitely tougher. We're going to hop back into the, those final games that got us to rank 35. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go. This is the second final game onto the rank 25, or 35. Sorry, we had 1,245 trophies. You guys know how it works. 10 minute matchmaking plus three minus 12, which means every loss we get is at least about 45 minutes of time. It's really brutal. So we're just gonna go up, uh, basically just like auto aiming away, trying to get our super. Um, not the best strategy, but I know once I get my super down, I can just start to cycle it. So I just kind of just went up and YOLO'd. Um, Ash is the only one on our team to stay up. We're gonna get that sandstorm down and start sneaking our way up. Gonna get some collateral shots over there. So we're able to charge our super really well. Got our super again, and we're going to stack it over here. So we're just chilling, being as sneak as possible, trying not to lose any HP. We know the bow is over here, so we're just going to go towards the bow, be able to get that kill. Um, so we now have seven gems to their zero, so we're doing a really, really good job. I think we're one shot or two off of super, so it was two shot. Oh, maybe it was three. Okay. Now she's going to be able to take them down. We're going to be able to take down that Nita. And there are eight gems on our side to their zero. There's one in the middle, about to be two. We rushed the middle. We were gonna go pick up the gem, but we went too. We got too low, so we have to move back. Able to pick up a kill on that bow. Tan is going to solo suck that Nita. Then you had no clue that, that he was there. Ash goes down to a mine because he's just too slow to get out of it as an 8-bit. But that is fine because we're just gonna pick up the two gems in the middle, get stunned by a mine momentarily, then pick up three remaining gems and walk right back into our spawn. We're gonna get this shield down. Uh, or not the shield, sorry, but this uh, sandstorm. I'm going to be able to pick up a kill on that Nita as well as a kill on the bow. All they have is a little helpless penny coming down the map. But with three seconds left, there is nothing we can do. Myself and Ash team up to be able to get the kill. And that moves us one game away from the coveted rank 35. So we were dominating. 
um, for the entirety of this game. These guys weren't as good, um, weren't really fair opponents. They were only like 700, 600, 500, which just isn't fair against us three. So we're going to hop into our final match. Let's get into it and let's show you guys how I got my rank 35. Okay, so this our final game. We're going to be going up against a Primo, a Mike and a Tara. We had a very good amount of viewers. A lot of the clan was rooting us on, so thank you guys for watching. But anyways, we're going up against this Tara over here. A really easy kill. We're able to get the mid as well. And then really good pinch by uh, Tan and Ash to be able to get that mic. We're just going to go up, grab the gem. Primo doesn't have the range to hit us at all. Uh, we're just going to kind of just force that Primo to not be able to gain HP by putting the uh, Sandstorm over there. Going to rush this mic as well. Get the mic one shot. You guys can see the Tara is also dangerously low. We're going to be able to tap it twice. It's not going to be able to regen. Prevo is now moving down the right side. So they have two on the right. I didn't see it cross from the top. I still thought it was on the left. But Tan, really good play over there to be able to pick up the kill. Um, and at this point, it's 7 to nothing. We're holding it down really well, just like we are basically every single game. Shoutouts to my teammates. And, I mean, we're just doing a fantastic job. We got our Sandstorms. So we're going to just put that in the middle and just basically try and charge it back up again. They're not able to regen. We're just going to pick up our our gems over there, try and tap away. We're able to pick up the 10th gem. There is a tar with pull, but Ash is able to snipe it. I'm kind of just getting excited, spinning around. We, we see a Primo over here. He's going to get close to us, not be able to do anything. We're going to move up. We're going to be able to get the kill over there. Tan's going to be able to finish them off, or Ash. And at this point, two seconds left, I'm spinning, and that is the rank 35. So we were able to get it. Super, super exciting that less than 24 hours we were able to get it. Um, fun stat, we lost, or my myself personally, I lost six games the entire day from zero to 1,250. Um, I lost like two or one or two with randoms. I played with randoms straight until like 700. Then I think second best through a couple. I lost one with David, and then from there it was just straight wins until 12:33, where I lost one more game. So only six losses on an entire day of playing is really really cool. Um, that was probably why we were able to get rank uh, rank 35 on the first day, just because we're able to be so consistent. Now it's an average of one loss every three hours, and we're in games all the time, basically on towards until the end. So it was really, really cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing these rank 35s and doing Sandy was awesome. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, make sure you subscribe. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be back tomorrow. Peace.